All right, guys, so today is the day, the final day, the reason we're in Houston. It's wake up day. Reed just brought us in, him and Bob, and all the crew at Main Street here in Houston to help Reed just get down to that 140. Um, it's been a good two weeks. Reed just has done pretty much everything we've asked of him. So today is like the last final push just to get the last little bit of work done. Um, we got a couple of things planned, a couple of bats, a couple of wraps, and um, then right after we're going to rehydrate and get the job done. So it's been, uh, it's been a good two weeks. I've enjoyed my time down here. It's, uh, it's great working with a bunch of like, professionals like these guys. And um, this is it, one final push, and then we're there. ECAA is dextrose. Yeah, we're good. We are golden. So a lot of time when people do really low shakes and stuff like that, they'll take into consideration the potassium, but they never actually go up and look and remember that there's sodium. So I start off with the potassium first, then I take the 60 milligrams that's in here as well, and I take that off of those calculation numbers here. So when I'm adding the salt in just a couple of minutes, I can take into consideration that there's already some salt in here. All right, so that's the water. Now we need to do the coconut water. So this is gonna be mostly for the potassium. To help replenish. Dextrose is gonna wait until the very end. Then we're gonna put in a little bit of BCAAs too. So, again, we've calculated exactly how many BCAAs he needs, and that's what's gonna go into this shake as well. Just to help with the transport of nutrients, micronutrients and macronutrients to help replenish all of his lost muscle glycogen. Okay, shake number one, done. Shake number two, done. All right, shake three, last one, done. While you're still sweating, you may as well just let it come up now. Yeah, <coughs> Right. Well, I'll let you know when the time is up and then we'll do 60. If you feel good, we'll do another 60. You just tell me when. Oh, are you ready to do But yeah, you're still sweating right now, so. Let's capitalize on that. All right. Take what you want to Today is your most I was reading the thing and said, um, Gladys wasn't like we thought they was. But it was like kind of how fighters are right now. Okay. They had their families and shit in the stadium. They didn't fight to the death. So, um, yeah? Yeah, they didn't fight to the death. They just fought and fucked each other up and they, they were like, Not all of them, but some. Of course, some of them was like, this would fight till you die. But some of them wasn't like that. They had families and shit. Well, you look at was, fucking, look at the NBA and NFL players, them fucking dudes huge. I know. How many more of those guys? <laughs> what? She's oh, saying no. great job, pups. Yeah. She got you now. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I can win now. Right? Yeah. I'm sure there's a whole bunch of water too. Fucking that was a good one, man. The, the weight cut seems like it's going better, easier than normal. Um, he's definitely got, he's definitely still pulling a lot of water, more water than he usually would at this point. It would take him a lot longer to uh, start to sweat. He's sweating faster, so everything's going good. Good sweat. Look at me for a second. You're good. Like even like doing in the pool? Swimming. Oh, shit. You should go join him. She will. Yeah? She loves him. Yeah. It should take you about 15 to 30 minutes to finish it, so go and show you. This is what I've been doing. Last two weeks, I hired a nutritionist, Declan. He came from Canada. He came down. Um, to make the weight, basically, you know? And I did this because I wanted to prove to the world, and just not to the world, but most important, most importantly to myself, that I can make the weight, right? So I, I hit the weight right, perfect. I mean, we did everything we were supposed to do. Um, I've been doing, basically, like my whole boxing career, I've been doing everything wrong. Um, I never had nutritionists. I did everything, I mean, I just I just did everything as backwards. I didn't do, I didn't do what I was supposed to do. I wasn't a professional, I didn't have the right stuff. I never put the right, nutrition wise, I never put the right stuff in my body. And um, you know, my last, basically my last two fights, I missed weight. 
And you know, I honestly I didn't know myself if I can make 140. Um, I thought that you know maybe I'll have to go up or whatever. But you know, for me, it's personal. I do want to belt again at 140. I do want to be a world champion again at 140. So you know, um, I said that you know right now I said I'm gonna do a mock camp, and that's what I did. So for two weeks, this is what I've been doing. I've been um, I had I had Declan come out, um, and like I said, we just. Nutrition wise, I didn't I did everything what he told me to do. It was I'm talking about I didn't cheat in one second, like one bit, everything, and we hit the weight right like perfect. We hit everything perfect. Um and everything went very, very well. So I will be staying at 140. I do want to be a world champion again at 140. Um my, now I have uh um I have a method right now that's that that's worked and like I say it was only two weeks and I usually do an eight week camp so this is perfect. I, it's something I had to do. Something you know I want to prove to the fans and not only but to myself that I can make the weight. And I made it. I made 140, and everything everything went very very smooth. And I'm just happy. I'm very very happy with the results. So now on you know um, I'm gonna have the nutritionist in my corner, and you know I'm gonna be campaigning. I'm gonna stay at 140 for a while. Oh shit. Oh.